Hello and welcome to Uvium Calculation of the Month, where we answer the pressing questions. Today's question is, can a human jump off of a Martian moon? Now Mars has two moons, uh, Deimos and Phobos. Phobos is quite a bit larger than Deimos, so we're going to explore Debo Deimos. And we're also going to need to know a bunch of information about Earth in order to measure what humans can do. All right, and so we're going to need a couple of variables. One of them is the radius of Deimos, which is 6.2 kilometers. And the mass of Deimos, 1.48 times 10 to the 15th kilograms. We also need the radius of Earth, which is 6,371 kilometers. And the mass of Earth, which is 5.9736 uh, times 10 to the 24th kilograms. And since we're dealing with gravity here, we also need uh, the gravitational constant, g, which is 6.67384 times 10 to the negative 11th. All right, so the first thing I want to calculate is I want to calculate what the potential energy is at the surface of Deimos. So potential energy is going to be G times the mass divided by the radius. So it's a bit under 16 joules. Now, the gravitational constant of Earth near its surface is relatively um, stable. So I'm just going to calculate what the gravity is of, of Earth is at the surface. Uh, and that's going to be g times the mass divided by radius squared. And this gives us our familiar 9.8 meters meters per second squared. Now we know that at the surface of Earth, the potential energy is equal to mgh. So if I wanted to see what the height of 16 joule is, joules would be, um, I would just divide this energy by this gravity. So this is going to give me my jump height. which is about 1.62 meters and convert this to inches
gives a ju jump height of 64 inches, which is five foot four. So you're thinking, well, uh, you know, high jumpers routinely get over eight feet. So, uh, you know, done deal. Looks like we can jump off of a Martian moon. However, this jump height, we're really talking about the um, change in the center of gravity. So a high jumper, when they when they jump, they're starting off with their center of gravity three to four, maybe even more, uh, feet off the ground. And also because of the technique of the Fosbury flop, the center of gravity uh, doesn't necessarily go over the over the bar. They can cross on top of the bar. The center of gravity will uh, pass below the bar. Um, so the the, ver the value that we're looking for here is um, is the, called the vertical. Uh, now I did some testing here at UVM Labs, and I found that my own vertical is about 24 inches. Which is considerably below the, the 64 inches required. Um, but according to Wikipedia, uh, a vertical of in excess of 40 inches is considered outstanding. And there's been instances where people have had verticals higher than 50, which gets us pretty close for a world class, class athlete. They might be able to do this. Um, and of course, the vertical is measure, measured from as a standing jump. There's nothing that says that uh, we can't take a running jump to or to um, to escape from Deimos. Uh, also, our radius is considered the mean radius. Uh, Deimos is not very spherical, so it's conceivable that you could find a spot on Deimos that was a bit higher than, you know, quite a bit higher than 60, uh, 6,200 meters. Um, whether the combination of being a little bit further from the center, uh, taking a running jump would be enough to allow someone to get a 64 inch vertical. I'm not really sure, but it's, you know, it's conceivable. It's in the ballpark. Anyway, what's the, uh, you know, what's the conclusion? What's the takeaway from all of this? Uh, do not bring a trampoline to Demos.